Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So on June the 16th, everyone, we have a powerful alignment taking place. We've got Venus and Mercury moving into the sign of Cancer. This is an energy of love and communication. How are we choosing to embody and embrace this energy in our lives? It's all about the lens that we look through, the lens of love. How do we choose to express love through communication? You're going to see this coming at you as well. So some of you might be finding yourselves falling in love or spending more time with family and friends. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a guardian angel oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by an animal card from the Power Animal Oracle deck. And then I'm going to pull two personal messages for you. So these have been a favorite on my channel here. So I'm going to incorporate these going forward. So two personal messages that I might not understand. So I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you. And then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, patterns, symbols, angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Gemini, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you focus. Look at that. This card's been coming up quite a bit here. Focus. Spirit is really wanting you to focus. Okay, so in a split second, as you shift your focus, you can influence the quantum field's response to your vibration. Now everything is being recollaborated and magnetized to align with your frequency. I'm going to read this to you one more time. In a split second, as you shift your focus, you can influence the quantum field's response to your vibration. Now everything is being recollaborated and magnetized to align with your frequency. So look at that. There's a higher frequency, higher vibration coming in. And it's through that focus, Gemini. So make sure that you are focusing on your goals, on your dreams, and really putting that energy towards those things because you're going to see yourself shifting to that vibra vibration and frequency. So we're starting here with the Ten of Swords. This is an energy that um, feels like a pause. It feels also like rock bottom, like you've hit this uh, point in your life and perhaps you're not wanting to get up and keep going. Perhaps you're feeling like you need to stop or you want to stop and not keep moving. So this is where spirit wants you to keep moving. Stay in motion here. They're sending you a lot of um, love and light here. Okay, so your intuition is very, very strong, but the things that you're holding on to are blocking this energy from coming in. So again, spirit is wanting you to be uh, become aware of this. So Ten of Swords to start, we have the Four of Cups. So this is a feeling of, meh, maybe I don't want things to work. Maybe I'm just giving up. Whatever this is for you, I feel there's something coming in. There's a manifestation waiting to come into your life. And Spirit wants you to recognize some of the opportunities and the blessings that you currently have in your life because through gratitude, you're going to see how things start to shift. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the Four of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. Look at this partnership. This is a coming together and alignment happening, whether this is with a person or something else, but you're in alignment with something here, Gemini. I'm getting power couple vibe here. This card reminds me of myself and my husband. We are the two that are sacred knowledge tarot 
two of us behind the scenes here. Well, me in front and him behind and sometimes at the front. But um, there's this energy of two people coming together and creating something. I'm getting baby vibes here as well for some of you. So perhaps you're going to hear news around a baby. Not for me. We've got a grandson, so I'm done with babies. I'm going, going on to grandkids now. Um, but two of cups here for you. Powerful alignment that is taking shape here. So look at this. I love this for you. So you're breaking free from something, okay? This is what's ultimately happening. Um, they're really wanting you to get up and go again, Gemini. Now, before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our, in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Gemini. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So I'm getting tongue-tied here today. I don't know if you're, uh, any of you are feeling this energy as well. What I'm getting here is it's coming from this... Uh, Ten of Swords, there is a completion of something happening, an old energy that it has kind of, what I'm getting here is something fell and it's kind of stopped there. I don't know if this is you or if this is the energy or the vibration around you, but I feel like something came in really heavy and fell and is just there. Um, and I feel it's now time to release it and get rid of this energy. It's not about getting rid of you. You're meant to get back up, but whatever energy is holding you down is what you're meant to release and let go of. Uh, motivation, energy, passion, all of this is coming in through this red energy. So I'm getting like this fire. Someone is um, lighting that flame again. Spirit is lighting that flame and wants you to light that flame again, Gemini. I don't know what this is in your life. But um, the connection is there. So spirit is really trying to communicate with you at this time, Gemini. Pay attention to the signs around you. Whether you're seeing hummingbirds, uh, squirrels, raccoons, numbers, patterns. These are things that are coming into your awareness, okay? Pay attention to those because these are letting you know it's time to get back up and start moving. Look up on Google if you're seeing something like, for example, a hummingbird. What is the spiritual meaning of a hummingbird? That's a message coming through for you, especially if you saw one. Um, or if you're seeing some sort of like rectangular symbol, uh, numbers, even angel numbers, right? I feel a lot of us are seeing them all over the place, like in addresses, in our phone numbers, things like that, right? So communication is very, very heavy at this time. Sometimes we can't see that communication because there's a lot of things on our mind. I feel for some of you, you have a lot weighing on your mind here, Gemini. So it's now time for you to take that energy of the things that are there, thought, transfer those thoughts onto a sheet of paper so you can organize them, so you can go through them to see, okay, which ones are real, which ones aren't real, which ones are important, which ones aren't, and which ones are actually um, things that I want to put energy into right? And why are you worrying about these? Sometimes I feel like we just worry about things, creating stories of things that might happen, replaying something in our head from the past, right? These are the things that you want to release because these can weigh us down, especially if we're constantly thinking about them, right? I also feel someone has this weight, heavy weight on their heart. It's like you're holding on to something here, Gemini. And I feel you've been wanting to release it, but you just haven't had the chance or the strength to do so. So this is your sign. Some of you are feeling this calling because this emotion, whatever this is that's been stuck and held there, is starting to surface. And it's because you have to acknowledge it. You have to release it. You have to work on it. Okay, the more you keep pushing it down, the stronger it's going to get when it resurfaces. So... This is just spirit letting you know, let's let's start to work on this, whatever this is. And if you need to get professional help, then go and get that help if you can or speak to a loved one, right? Um, you have to be resourceful here. You are the one that has to initiate this process of you getting up, all right? So sometimes when we hit rock bottom, that is when we have that awakening. That's when we go through that um, enlightenment. So I feel for some of you, this is a place that you might might be at the, right now in your life, or perhaps you have a story to share around your rock bottom that you can share with others on this channel that might be going through something similar. So remember, we are all survival manuals. This is what I believe, personally believe here, is that we are all survival manuals. Every life experience we've had, we've learned something through that process. We can share our story so it might help someone else. So I feel that there's 
a story for some of you to share around your rock bottom and how you were lifted up. I watch a lot of celebrities to see um, where they came from and what their life was before they became a star. And a lot of them were in a place where they were like, I was at rock bottom, I had to go through these things and all of a sudden I rose up. So what I'm getting here is a trampoline and someone that jumped on the trampoline and that trampoline's low and it's about to launch up for you. So this is what I'm getting through this card today. The Ten of Swords. I'm getting like a 10 year cycle closing off and a new one. There's a new beginning definitely coming in with this. Um, I'm seeing some of you rising from the ashes. This is that rock bottom energy rising from the ashen, ashes or you were knocked down really hard recently. You were knocked down really hard by life, a relationship, a job or whatever it is. This is where spirit says, okay, it's okay to be down for a second, but let's get back up and get back in the ring. Okay, let's get back in the ring. We're not going to lose this fight. You're here to win. You're a spirit warrior. So it's a reminder. So I do feel that some of you are going to start to see confirmations of the spirit warrior energy in you. Okay, so this is what's coming through and focus. Perhaps you've lost your focus. Maybe there's a lot of things that are distracting you from that focus, right? That's the other thing showing up. So spirit is really wanting you to release all of these things that you're thinking in your mind that are distracting you. And I'm getting the lazy spell here. The case of the lazy, I get the lazy spell on Monday mornings. Oh my gosh, I have to fight through it every single Monday. Some Mondays, rare ones, I'll do really well, but a lot of the times I'm like, oh boy, tomorrow's Monday. I better get my music list going. I need some motivation because I need to focus on what's coming in and look at all the things that I'm grateful for. But the case of the lazy, there's no rhyme or reason for it. It just shows up and you're not even sure why. You're kind of like, yeah, I feel like being lazy today. It's like, no, I can't. I have to fight it. Um, I just want to watch Bollywood movies and drink chai tea lattes, right? So that's my little um, unwinding thing that I like to do sometimes. It's not an all the time thing. Um, so motivation here, it's all about motivating yourself and really lighting that fire within you to get back up and to move. Maybe some of you have had a desire, something that you're really looking at creating and perhaps that hasn't shown up yet for you. Maybe you had signs of it showing, but all of a sudden there's been this shift where you feel like because something happened, maybe it's all, it's all going into the garbage here. It's not like that. I feel honestly what's happening here for some of you is um, some of you, not everyone is maybe there is a manifestation that showed up the seed of that manifestation and you received it and all of a sudden something else happens and it throws totally throws you off course. I feel this is what happens when that manifestation comes in as a seed. This is how I've experienced it in my own life. You can share with me if you have ever experienced this as well is when something shows up it comes with something that almost tests us to make sure this is what we want, right? Because we will fight for that thing. So I'm getting this coming through this energy of maybe something did show up, but there's another like thing that's trying to throw a wedge in it. But this is almost like a test um, of your resilience, of your strength, of your commitment to this thing, regardless of what is happening in your external circumstances. Okay. Um, so how committed are you to this? Is this what you actually want? So I'm seeing some sort of a goal here. I'm seeing something that your heart really desires. Um, so those of you that know what this is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to draw this in. You're already drawing. It's waiting there for you to come in. And there's divine timing at play. I do feel that some of you are meant to learn a few things. Uh, you have learned a few things, but we're also, as we learn everyone, we're supposed to apply that knowledge, right? Apply the things that we have learned in our life. So if you're someone that had to be patient through a situation, it was really hard for you to be patient, but you conquered that, you are now meant to use that patience. If you're someone that had to use discipline because what you did in life required that you had discipline, now you're in a position where you don't really have to use discipline if you don't want, because maybe you're working for yourself. Again, applying that discipline even for yourself in this new venture, right? So this is where also Spirit is asking you to take a look at some of the things that are already in your life, already present, because you never know where these might lead because there's something around you that might lead you up to this bigger desire, 
Okay, so things show up in ways that we're not expecting. The path to get to this place, to this desire, there is no roadmap. There's not meant to be a roadmap. You're not meant to know how you're going to get there or how you're going to acquire your desire. It's going to show up because when you look back and see the journey to get there, you wouldn't even believe it. So it, it's like if Spirit pre-told you, and I've experienced this in my own life, um, had I known three years ago that I was going to be on this channel in front of you, I would never have be believed that. I would have been like, no way. There's no way I'm going to believe that. But now that I'm here and I look back three years ago, I'm like, I didn't even know that I was going to be on YouTube three years ago. How did this even happen? Right? So it's looking at that journey. So I do feel that there's some sort of journey or timing here that is attached to the Four of Cups for you. So um, breaking free from whatever that is because... There's something coming in that you're meant to see here, Gemini. And look at this. We've got this beautiful alignment happening. I do feel for some of you, you have a supportive partner. You're working together. Maybe this is an energy that you're feeling or perhaps your partner, right? And you're in the thick of it with this partner. Um, this could be a romantic partner. This could be a spouse. This could be a business partnership. This could be a coworker. This could be a family member, whoever this person is. I feel there's a joint experience in something. Now, the other thing is I'm getting an alignment coming in as well. So this is like a soulmate twin flame energy. Some of you might already be in a relationship with your soulmate, your twin flame, but I do feel there's an entry and this is the energy right now in the air is love, communication. Communication is very, very important here to keep that balance and alignment between relationships. So communication have open communication is what spirit guides are saying if there's something on your heart speak it share it vice versa um, hear it receive it without any kind of reactive energy spirit is really wanting you to come from a place of love kindness and compassion i'm sorry i keep hitting my mic here with my fingers um, so what what's happening is there's an experience coming into your life right now, Gemini, that is expanding. There's growth here. And the sky is the limit is what spirit is saying. So where do you see yourself in this alignment? For those of you, if this alignment is already there in your life, like if you already have someone you're working with, where do you see this going? Can you see the bigger picture around it? Are the two of you in the same um, energy, right? Communicating that, like, where are you at? Where am I at? Let's talk about this. Um, the other thing is um, this other, there's like a new energy coming into your life here, Gemini. I feel this is going to happen towards the end of June or into July. Okay, so those of you that are single and they're, you're out there to mingle, there is this energy incoming that is meant for you. This is a really compatible energy. And I feel that some of you are manifesting this into your life and others because you're in it to win it. They're saying in it to win it. Um, you're looking, you're, 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 you're actively looking and meeting people. Those of you that are desiring to find a life partner, a romantic partner, you have to be in it to win it. So you want to get out there, mix and mingle, get on some dating apps, make a wish list of what kind of a person you desire, how you want to feel with them. This is how I manifested my husband. I made a wish list and he's exactly what I had described on my wish list. I'm telling you, it shocked me. Like, it's just, when I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's exactly to the T what uh, my husband Paul is. So, and he did the same thing when he manifested, like we both manifested each other. So some of you might be manifesting a love partner. This could also be a, um, an alignment with a new job that you love and desire. Uh, maybe there's co-workers, the boss that is so amazing there. Um, this could be a home that you're drawing in, right? So there's a connection of something happening where there's a length of time that you're going to experience with this energy in your life. So look at that. I love this for you. This is so powerful. Um, so remember, there is something that you're in alignment with and there's an expansion and some growth happening. A lot of success here through communication, through love, compassion, kindness. Okay, so look at that. So once you get up, I feel things are going to change for you. Whatever this block, and it feels like there's a brick wall in front of you and you're meant to break through it. You're not meant to give up. You're not meant to procrastinate. You're not meant to be lazy here. Okay, and once you open up, 
So number twos, number twos, number fours, uh, even the number 10s, if you're seeing these numbers, I do feel this is confirmations coming in for you. Number two is alignment to um, energies coming in and balance, right? Uh, the number four is all about manifestation, security and uh, stability in your life. And the number 10 is all about completions and uh, new beginnings. So I'm going to pull the power animal card for you. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting a cheetah. Look at that. Have any of you seen a cheetah? If you have, this is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So use a combination of speed and adaptability in this situation. You will be unstoppable. So again, Use a combination of speed and adaptability in this situation. You will be unstoppable. So look at that. I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook. So we are getting here, cheetah. All right, cheetah, here we are in the vast golden savannas of Africa, a creature of unparalleled speed reigns supreme, the cheetah. With its sleek form and lightning fast movements, the cheetah embodies the essence of swiftness and adaptability, offering us profound lessons in navigating the ever-changing terrain of life. Picture the cheetah as it sprints across the open plains, each stride a testament to its ex extraordinary agility and speed. It is a creature designed for swift action and its very existence is a testament to the power of adapting to the challenges of its environment. The cheetah's life story carries it un unvaluable insights into our own journeys. The cheetah teaches us that swiftness is not solely about physical speed, but also about the ability to make quick decisions and adapt to changing circumstances. In the face of life's challenges, it reminds us to trust in our instincts and embrace our agility. Just as a cheetah races across the savanna, you too can navigate the twists and turns of life with finesse and confidence. The cheetah's message is clear. Have faith in your ability to swiftly respond to life's challenges. Embrace your inner cheetah and let your adaptability be your strength. Like the cheetah, you possess the innate capacity to surge forward with confidence, even in the face of uncertainty. In the cheetah's world, each hunt is a testament to patience and precision. It reminds us that success often requires a balance between speed and strategy. And in that, uh, in, and in that life's challenges can be overcome through a combination of quick thinking and adaptability. So look at that. Embracing the energy of the cheetah, being swift, quick, and adaptable. All right, I'm now going to pull two personal messages for you today, Gemini. So feel free to pause this video for a moment and just tune into spirit here. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today, okay? Now, I might not understand these messages, so I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you today. So we are getting, you give, sorry, give yourself some credit for how far you've come. Give yourself some credit for how far you've come, Gemini, okay? Look at how far you've come. So see the good in what you call bad. Nothing in your suffering is meaningless. So let me read that to you one more time. See the good in what you call bad. Nothing in your suffering is meaningless. All right. So those are your personal messages. I'm now going to pull an angel number. So this is a different deck I'm using today. Um, so those of you that are seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting 666. Look at that, Gemini. Triple six, if you're seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing, six days, six weeks, six months, and six hours. All right, so reflect. They're wanting you to reflect if you're seeing these numbers especially in threes, sixes in threes, it's time to reflect. There's a lot of love and affection around you, compassion, kindness, spirit wanting you to pay attention also to your self-love. Pay attention to the things that are happening around you, but also on yourself. Self-love here is going to be so important. The message for you is several unexpected, uh, unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and your inner voice. 
pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. I'm going to read this to you one more time. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. So look at that. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.